Hello friends, let us start with the video related to stevepavlina.com. October 7, 2004, he has written an article, Journaling as a Problem Solving Tool. So according to him, it's the most powerful tool to solve problems. So he has been keeping a journal since 1996 and it is a computer software which makes it easy for handling for him. So normally people keep the journal to record personal events, life events, their plans but his approach is different he keeps five to ten entries every month and it is related to the problems that he wants to solve so he writes the topic suppose he wants to write on a topic suppose he wants to start a new project and he faces some difficulties some problems that he writes down on in the journal and explores the possible situation solutions looks at the solutions from all sides looks at the problems from all sides how would the solution look like what are the different angles of the problem really is it a problem to be solved or it just a waste of time how would someone like a scientist or an actor like Jim Carrey or Leonardo da Vinci would look at the problem and try to solve it so this kind of exercise is very valuable for him and he thinks over those problems with simple problems he gets success but with complicated problems he has to work a little bit more on it so according to uh, him he finds a solution that feels good about but afterwards when after two or three days he feels that it is not intelligent something else could be done and then uh, he tells us that thinking can often become circular and our brains have a tendency to over generalize so we see the patterns and we generalize things we don't consider the different aspects of the question what could the probable solution be for that a little bit of thinking and brainstorming is required so if you run your own business and experience a temporary sales drop which happens to be a problem you experienced and overcame once before you may still need to consider the possibility that the sales drop has a unique cause and cannot be overcome by reapplying the previous solutions. So maybe in the past you have succeeded to solve your problems by a particular way, but the next time it may not be possible. Okay, it may or may not be possible. So you have to explore the different ways in which you can solve the problems. You can find the gaps between the possible solutions. You can look at the different angles, at the question, at the solution and then you can make an intelligent decision. Now remember our brain is very powerful but it cannot consider many solutions at one time. It cannot handle so much of data at one time. So It, it requires time. So some problems are by their very nature are too big to fully understand in our thoughts alone. So we can only focus our conscious mind directly on a small part of the problem so our brains are really powerful but there is limitation to our conscious mind we cannot uh, have multiple simultaneous thoughts so you can imagine here a very nice example is given you can imagine apple tree but you cannot imagine the apple tree from hundred different angles it is impossible to do that so questions can be very simple like what should I have for dinner but then also our mental limits could be understood so to truly make the best possible decision we have to consider all possible dinners we might eat prioritize them by taste texture nutritional value cost convenience and even for a simple decision like this we can have three to four options and pick the best that seems to us at a particular moment but if we have very big decisions to make then what will happen what would the optimal choice look like so life is full of these kind of choices which career should i choose where should i live okay all these are major life changing decisions we cannot haphazardly make them we need careful consideration okay and because whatever happens we have to live with the consequences so we have to put a little bit of effort and intellect apply our intellect to these problems and their journaling is really helpful 
so even journaling can't overcome the major limitations of a conscious mind systematically considering solution spaces with millions of possibilities writing things though is a at least a step in the right direction so you need to write down which helps us to clear your thoughts clear your mind be possible to different solutions okay so subconscious mind is there which is more powerful than conscious mind which will start helping you some intuitions and emotional uh, messages will come to you okay so clarity will be there that mental discipline will be improved and then you can get good results okay so just uh, think over this very nice article you can have a look at it it's there on stevepavlina.com you just type the date you see the archives and you will get this article really nice article okay thank you